Hello everyone and welcome to Carib Sea. My name is Melissa and today we're going to be talking about the beautiful island of Grenada. Since this is the first country that we'll be covering, here is an overview of the things that we will be talking about in today's episode. So once we're finished with the history of Grenada, then I will go into activities to do, also places to visit, and as a bonus, I'll be giving potential travelers some guidance as to how to get to Grenada from certain parts of the world. Also, local modes of transportation once you're on the island, and also currencies that you can utilize there. Visiting Grenada, expect to smell the nutmeg in the air. Grenada rightfully is known as the Spice Island. It is typically green and mountainous and is the southernmost of the Windward Islands. The island is about 21 miles long, which is 34 kilometers, and 12 miles wide, which is 19 kilometers, and is considered as one of the friendliest islands. The island was called Concepcion by Christopher Columbus in 1498 and was renamed Grenada by Spanish settlers homesick for the hills of southern Spain. The indigenous people on the island were the Caribs at the time and they had sold the island to the French settlers for a handful of beads and tools. There is a slight debate as to the fate of the last Caribs on the island. However, the French and English fought for control of the plantation island until it was ceded to Britain in 1783. A bloody slave revolt ensued, led by Julien Fédon, resulting in many British being slaughtered. The British regained control in 1796, but by then the plantations in Grenada were in ruins. But in the 1830s, the introduction of nutmeg, also known as black gold, rescued the island. By the 1950s, the nutmeg industry in Grenada really took off and they were able to produce more spices. Grenada gained its full independence from the British in 1974. After being freed, and with the new development of local politics in Grenada not being favourable at the time, this led to the murder of the Prime Minister Maurice Bishop in 1983. Moving forward from this era, Grenada went on to create a successful tourism market. They also are the second largest producer of nutmegs in the world. Even after significant damage was placed on the island during Hurricane Ivan in 2004, the country managed to bounce back after years of rebuilding. Grenada demonstrates just how important nutmeg is to the country by portraying a nutmeg on their flag. English is the official language of Grenada. However, the spoken language there is usually between two local Creoles, either Grenadian Creole English or less frequently Grenadian Creole French. This Grenadian Creole French is known as Patois and is commonly spoken between the elders in Grenada. Here is some travel and tourism information. When we start to get further away from Grenada, things get a bit more complicated. There's no longer many direct flights. It's usually connections with one or two stopovers first. Here are some noteworthy flight examples.
say another thank you to you guys for tuning into my channel. For many of you, you may not know, but I research, I prepare the content, I edit, and I publish all of these videos on my own. And it means a lot to me that you guys are supporting my channel. So thank you. Please continue to support. Please subscribe and like and stay tuned. That's it for this video on Grenada. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you've learned something and please feel free to comment and let me know if there's anything you would prefer me to elaborate on and stay tuned for the other countries that I'll be covering in the next couple of weeks. Thank you guys so much. Ciao!